So runway five uh, here at Fairmont. Fairmont traffic, Skyhawk 3852 Lima, taxiing from the north hangars to runway five, Fairmont. All right, so wind is from that side of us right now. So we'll go ahead and aileron over into the wind. We'll make another call here when we're crossing. And Fairmont traffic, Skyhawk 3852 Lima crossing, runway 523 Fairmont. Clear to the left. Clear to the right. And Fairmont traffic 3852 Lima now clear of runway 523 Fairmont. So the objective tonight is to uh, to get up. I want to do a couple of maneuvers. Particularly, I'd like to work on uh, steep turns. And then come back in for landing on 5. This is going to be a reasonably short flight. Uh, so uh, as per all these flights, you can get early access to this video. And also a full-length, unedited version of the entire flight start to finish uh, at the Patreon page if you just visit patreon.com slash midlifepilot. Fairmont traffic, Skyhawk 3852 Lima taking uh, runway 5. We're going to make a straight-out departure, overfly the city of Fairmont, uh, and then we'll uh, make a left-hand turnout uh, to the southeast, Fairmont. All right, approach end of five is clear. Haven't seen anybody. Anywhere. Do have a slight left crosswind. We're gonna use all available runway, even though we've got longer runway here and we're still treating it as a short field. So this will be a left crosswind, so we're gonna aileron into the wind left. All right, mixture's going rich. Aileron's into the wind. We're going on the brakes, and we're going to run this up and make sure we're making good power. Real good power. Engine's in the green, off the brakes, right rudder. Airspeed's alive. There is rotation speed. There's that wind. I just want to fly overhead uh, my house. Well, then we'll head out. And Fairmont traffic sky, 3852 Lima is three miles northeast uh, of the field, climbing through 2200, going to be making a left-hand turn, uh, heading out to the uh, uh, south-west uh, south, uh, Fairmont traffic. All right, let's go ahead and start. We're going to climb up to about 3,500 feet or so. Beautiful look at downtown Fairmont off the left side here. All right, let's go ahead and get leveled off here at 3,500 feet. So we push the nose over. We'll build up a little speed um, before we uh, adjust the power back. We'll power back to, you know, 20 try 2300 rpm for now see what that does what that gives us for an airspeed 
We want to try to do this maneuver. I want to try to do it at 90 miles an hour. We're 100 miles an hour here. Our maneuvering speed at this weight is um, 109. So I'm actually bring this back to like 2250 maybe for this maneuver. Engine's still looking good, pressure and temperature. So let's get lined up 3,500 feet. We'll get lined up with these um, smokestacks here. And then we're going to do a steep turn to the left. All right, that's going to be roughly a 240 heading. We want to do this at like 90-ish miles an hour. So we're going to say that's right about here. 240 heading, and we're going to initiate the turn to the left. So get a sight picture in our head here. I've got the sight picture in my head. Looks good. And we'll initiate the left hand turn. And as we go through there, I'm going to wipe one, two, three swipes of up trim. Then I'm going to lock it in. 45 degrees. Little sink. Speed is good. Bank angle is good. A little bit of a descent, so we pull just a, ever so slightly. And here comes our 230 heading, and we right rudder and push the nose over. Then we go directly into a right hand bank, a little right rudder, and one more swipe of nose up trim because the right hand needs a little bit more. There's 45 degrees, no more bank. Keep my eyes outside. Speed bleeding off chains. We're climbing just a skosh. Get that nose over just ever so slightly, not that far. Lock it in, lock it in. We're descending, so pull back just a skosh. Going over bank, and then left rudder and push. Okay, not bad, not bad. We stayed within our 100 feet. Our speed was also good. Let's turn away from the uh, smokestacks here just a bit. We're maintaining altitude, 3,500. That's really what I wanted to accomplish tonight was to try the, sw the, the uh, swipes of trim. Uh, and I want to try a couple, maybe two landings at Fairmont's runway five. It's given me fits before. So let's head back towards uh, Fairmont. I have the field in sight. Carlsville traffic, Skyhawk 5502 Tango 8 to the west, inbound lane, so Carlsville traffic. Our descent checklist will be mixture adjust, power as desired, and carb heat as required. So we'll get over here. We're going to actually enter correctly a left downwind. for runway five. Pattern altitude of Fairmont is uh, 2,000 feet. So we'll get over here, get swung around, get descended. Then we'll enter that left downwind for runway five. Fairmont traffic, Skyhawk 3852 Lima, three miles west. Uh, we're gonna be entering a left downwind for runway five, Fairmont traffic. Keep the descent on coming. We got a long way to go to get down to uh, pattern altitude. All right, we're just about a beam, which is perfect. We're definitely inside the white arc. We want to be about 90 here. Um, so we'll go ahead and configure. We're inside the white arc. Let's go ahead and bring in the first notch. Power down to 1700, get the noise over. Miles out from the west, uh, uh, for runway one, one, full stop. All right, so this is looking fine. We're going to get pushed uh, in a little bit on this leg. Bring the power out just a little bit more. Grandma traffic, 
Sky 352 Lima turning left face now, left face, runway 5, Fairmont. Keep the descent coming. Keep the runway in sight. Next notch of flaps. We're a little fast and also high. Shouldn't surprise anyone. Final looks clear. And Fairmont traffic, 3852 Lima now turning final, runway 5, Fairmont. All right, we're high and fast. Our pitch for that 70, third notch. Flaps 40. Remember, left, left aileron, right rudder, left aileron, right rudder. 